Uh, hey guys, Shawnee here. Three, oh, I still hate two, saying my own one, name. Wrong. Anyway, first off, I'm sorry that there was no video this uh, last week. If I said it in stream, then it doesn't hurt to say it again. If I didn't, well, I'm sorry that there was no video last week. But for those of you who know, you know what I'm gonna say. But the goblin was here because you know Labor Day was last week, so you know, no, uh, no classes. I don't think there's work open for a few people but basically he got to stay home as a result for those of you who know what i mean you know what i mean for those of you who don't i'm not going to go into details because it, it seems kind of petty to be honest but um as you can tell by the title of this video this all happened because of what uh this person's gonna do i don't i don't want to say kid because that makes it sound like i'm being condescending and i don't want to like say man or woman or whatever whatever the hell they are because I don't know what they are. If I do say it, you, you're free to call me out on it. That's that's just me being stupid. But I'll try my best to just keep calling them them because I have no idea whether they are he or she. But that's not important. Anyway, so basically what happens is, for those of you who've played Smash before, there's a mentality in uh, For Glory, as well as some people in tournaments, which I don't even know how the hell to manage, where... The whole mentality is, if I get one kill off of you, and that's it, I don't need to play anymore, I've won, uh, mentally. To which, I can see why, it's still fucking stupid, but I can see why, and that's basically what he does here. So, I go call out, call him out on it, excuse me for the stutter, and he gets upset that I did, basically, uh, make excuses. Now, this was all recorded, like, two weeks ago, so I don't remember much of it. But, uh, I can tell you, he, he got pretty salty pretty fast, like, like, I'd say LCG levels of salt, like, the way he gets upset really quickly, just because someone sneezed on the wrong frame, like, kind of salt. Uh, I'll show you right now, I'm just waiting for the match to finish so you can see, uh, what I was talking about, where he does it here. See? And now, I'm gonna show you the messages, uh, please excuse the button presses, I've noticed that those... Okay, so I cut myself off there without knowing it, but like I said, ignore the button presses, please. I've been trying to find a way to deal with them, and it's been difficult. Anyway, uh, as you saw by those messages, he got upset because I called him out on it, saying that I'm not even good, even though, you know, like, I don't really care about that because I know I'm garbage. Uh, but the whole- sorry I'm stuttering by the way, I'm- like I said, this happened two weeks ago, so I don't have any recollection of it, I'm just trying to tell you based off my memory. So, uh, at the end of this, uh, match, I'm gonna show you the messages, and obviously I'm not gonna show you all of them because, uh, as you saw by the title, it went to 10-8. So, I'm not going to- if I didn't put in the title, by the way, go ahead and, and smite me in the comments, I- that's- once again, that's me being stupid. So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically, like, not put all of them, because if I did, it, this video would end up probably being, like, half an hour long, and I don't want that. Hell, it'd be longer than that, I'm pretty sure. So, if you want to see them, let me know. I'll probably put them in a separate video, if the demand is high enough, considering my standards are, if at least 10% of, of the, uh, viewers, of my subscribers, I mean, actually want it, then I'll put it up. 10%, by the way, is, like, 10, literally 10, maybe 11 viewers, considering I only have... 113 subscribers, I think, but that's that's not important. Anyway, uh, if you guys want to see it, let me know. I'll put it up. But for now, just I'm gonna put up say five, maybe six matches. And from editing, I see the videos have about 18 minutes, give or take. And I still have to put in the screenshots, and those add about five seconds each, since I've been told that I don't keep them on long enough, like I did with the uh, montage. So, I'm gonna keep them on longer. I'm gonna keep them on for five seconds they usually are on for. So, you guys can read them. Of course, you can pause them too, but, you know, you can pause the video I mean to read them. But, I'm just saying, uh, I'm gonna keep them up for longer. So, this video will be 18 minutes. I'm sorry for that. I'm not trying to look for money or anything like that, because I could care less about that. But, it's more so, I just want to show you the, uh, the first few when I got to five of course it gets it gets higher up to like I said 10 8 but basically at that point it's just me salt mining because like you know it's I have this weird not fetish well I guess you could call it a fetish I don't know 
I have this weird thing where I love seeing sal salty people and trolls get what's coming to them. Uh, like when I see when I saw the match of LTG getting by by that Akuma, where he just got so damn upset, you could hear him yelling from across the keyboard. Anyway, uh, so the match is about to be over, and I'll show you screenshots. The reason I'm cutting myself off early like this is because I don't want to overextend past the video. Uh, tap a few times, just letting you know. So, as you can tell by the uh, message, I uh, he gets upset that I was quote-unquote spamming, three, and also, two, for those of you who one, saw, I wrong. ended up winning all three without losing. Um, he doesn't want to count the first one, by the way, because he rage quit, but in my eyes, if you ever rage quit anything, unless you come back to it, like you can't smite, or say, uh, here in Brawlhalla, if you can come back to it, if you do that, that's not a rage quit in my eyes. If you, if you leave and just stay gone for the rest of the match, then I see it as a rage quit and you basically just giving up. It's the whole mentality of like with tournaments where you unplug your controller, you give up game one. Because most of the time, it's there that happens. I say game one, but it's literally any game, doesn't matter. Anyway, so uh, he gets upset because of that. He doesn't want to count the first game. You'll see it when I put more messages up after. Uh, I didn't want to put too much of them because I want to put them pertaining to when they happen. So, like, this one, hap the message I just put up happened after I beat his, uh, his Orion. Keep in mind, by the way, what, like I said, Orion is a uh, Skyforge skin, meaning that he uses him co in competitive. It's the equivalent of buying the uh, gold weapons for a character in Overwatch, except it's not as tedious to get them, and you can usually buy it for multiple characters instead of buying one every, say, half a year. Uh, unless you're in top 500, in which case I have no idea how much you gain from that. But most likely every half a year. Anyway, so Sky, ow, Sky, sorry, I hit, I hit a uh, bucket. Um, I should edit that out, but knowing you guys, you probably like hear, uh, hearing any pain. Anyway, so uh, basically that means he's he's been using the character for competitive because usually when you buy a skin like this, you either buy it for the character to look cool. Or for it to be to be used in competitive to let people know to take you seriously, which is what I use it for because I don't like when people sandbag. I prefer you go all out so when you lose, there's no excuses. Unless there's lag, in which case I have a different story for that, but I'll tell you that I'll like I'll probably put that in a montage because it's easier than having to talk about a talk about it without seeming petty. Anyway, uh, so after this, I end up winning. I'm not cutting myself off early again. I mean, I am, but. I'm not cutting myself off early now because there's still like a minute to go, I, I believe, of this uh, video, of this uh, replanning. So uh, basically, like we keep going at it, it's 1-1 right now, so it's very close. And I don't know how, honestly, but I managed to pull off a comeback because as you can see, my damage is higher than his. So I don't know how, I guess it's because of how high course defense is, but basically, uh, I managed to do a comeback, and, like, he gets more upset. He keeps asking for rematches and not counting. Like I said, he doesn't count the first match, so it, to him it doesn't count as me being in 3-0. But I'll go more into that right now, because since the match is about to be over, you'll see a screenshot. So, as you see, after I beat him 3-0, he gets upset telling me that I'm spamming. I obviously have to be a dickhead and tell him that I make videos on it. And he asked me for rematches. As you saw by the messages, Three, I end up two, losing this one, one because wrong. I went Zol instead of staying core like, a, you know, what a smart person would do. And, uh, basically, uh, he, he's like, whoa, I keep saying he's like, excuse me for that. Uh, he basically goes along lines to call me out for quote-unquote making videos on spamming, even though if that were the case, literally no one would watch them. But I've seen that at least 10% of my viewers, which once again, I find... For a small channel, I find it to be a decent amount. Sure, you should be striving for a higher percent since you have less viewers. But for me, it's just that people watching it is enough. If I have, say, 10 views, that's good enough for me. Anything past that is just me me uh, getting green to want. So, yeah, he, en he ends up being me here, like I said, because I got careless and picked Zol. By the way, Zol is more secondary than a main, like, like, uh, like cross and core, excuse me for stuttering again, and as a res 
as a result, he ends up beating me because of that. But once again, no John. He still he still beat me regardless. So uh he ends he ends up winning this one. I keep saying that over and over. I'm not trying to like pester that point. I'm just saying it so I don't forget. Uh, but after he, he ends up winning, he basically tell he basically complains that I was still spamming, even though he won. In my eyes, well, no, excuse me. In my perspective, I mean, if that were him, I mean, if I were him, then I would, you know, point out the fact that I won instead of the fact that the opponent was spamming. Because if they pissed you off to the point where you don't even want to brag about your win to the person you're trying to piss off, or more so trying to shut up, then you've basically gotten them to the point of no return to where they just, they really don't care. They just want, they just, like... They don't want to be angry, but they just, they don't want, they don't have anything else to do, basically. That's all they, that's all they've become. They've literally become a salt mine. So, after this, uh, I, I message him again. I'm not, once again, I'm not going to show all the, uh, all the matches. I will show all the messages, though. I'll show them, uh, at the end, if you really want to read them. You can skip past, I'll leave a timestamp when I put them up. But, uh, yeah. So, the match is about to end, because... From what, I, what it looks like, I believe it's 10-15 seconds left. But he basically, he beats me, and then he, he gets upset more so I was spamming than happy that he actually won. So, you'll see it right now, I'll show you the message again, but just watch. So, I already put this one up, but I wanted to show you the uh, bottom chunk of it. Where I basically say, yeah, 3-1, three, three, that's fair. Two, and then we go into the next match, wrong. where I go, I go, uh, excuse me, I go next. Where... I basically find it funny that he considers it spamming. Yes, I got- I, uh, I took one kill off of him. It may seem like a dick move, but the whole point is to piss him off at this point. Uh, so, anyway, uh, he said I was spamming, so I- I decided to be a dick for some reason and go Nyx. For those of you who, who don't know, Nyx is commonly known as, like, one of the spammiest uh, gun users, or blaster, I don't know what the hell they call them. Anyway, one of the spammiest gun users in the uh, in the game, because there were side sig as well, side sig means side sig here for those who don't know, side sig as well as her down sig. Not to mention her slice is also very spammable, but most people spam the guns because of how big the hitbox is. Uh, so basically, as you can see here, you have to spam to assert your dominance. Uh, basically the equivalent of a people game, but Let's not go into into that right now. Uh, anyway, so at this point, I was like messing with him because not only do I have the life lead because of me being a dick, uh, not only do I have the life lead, but I also have weapons when he doesn't, and he has yet to really do anything to me. So I don't know why, if I was being a dick, I decided to throw my guns away. If the whole point was to make to spam him to annoy him, but basically. Uh, he ends up losing this, like, badly. Like, there's still a good chunk of this left. So, I believe he, he, uh, ends up getting me down to one life. Like, down to last hit, last stock kind of situation. And I don't, I honestly don't remember any of this, so I'm guessing. But, basically, I keep spamming on him to, like, just piss him off at this point. To which you're about to see in the messages, but once again, I'll show those at the end of the, uh, at the end of the match. Uh, I'll also put timestamps, I shouldn't be saying this so late in the, in the video, but I'll also put timestamps in the uh, pinned comment so you can see. But yeah, that's basically the, the gist of it. So at this point, there's nothing really else I can say except just to see as I proceed to make a man go from salt to the dead sea, as in like make him even saltier. Uh, you might ask how the hell you, can you turn turning salt in the, into the Dead Sea is making him saltier. More so for the sense that if you consume pure salt, it's ma it makes sense, but if you consume salt water, you're you're basically asking for for yourself to be poisoned. And in this case, he, he is. Uh, as much as I was babbling there about that, you get the idea. So, uh, I know I win this one because the message uh, says 4-1. So, I, that means I obviously won. Uh, without knowing it, or more so without me remembering it. Uh, and at this point, 
I'm honestly just babbling, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, you get the idea. So after this, okay, I do win. Uh, after this, uh, I'll show you the messages again. I'll show you the messages after this. I mean. So as you can see here, by the way, sorry, I keep starting off with that. Uh, as I told him, we take those. Why? Three, because we're two, trying to piss him off. One, as wrong. salt, or more so as petty as that sounds. But once again, I, uh, regrettably enough, have this weird, like, obsession slash fetish with making salty people even more upset. No matter what the, uh, the regard. Now, that doesn't mean I'll make someone upset on purpose. No, that, that's, I honestly don't like that. That's salt mining to a, di that's a different kind of salt mining, I mean, and I'm not really into it. Because that, at that point, you're just being a dick. You're not really, like, trying to piss them off. Uh, I mean, you are, but you're not really trying to piss them off for, be for you know, them being a dick. You're pissing them off more so for the fact of you just being a dick. Anyway, so, so, uh, at this point, I, it's at 3-1. I don't really fight them that much. So, or do I? Okay, well, apparently I am fighting them. Uh, I may have put, put this one in the wrong order. But there is a match where I be where I become passive, basically meaning I don't fight him directly. He has to come to me. Uh, some people might call it offensive. I call it passive because that's literally what it is. You don't fight them. You just run away from them. It's the equivalent of Sonic and Smash, where that's defensive, but it's also very passive because once you get the percent lead, you have no reason to really attack your opponent. Uh, but yeah. So in this one, for some reason, I guess this isn't the one I was mentioning, but once again, I'll just show you the messages, but I won't show you all the matches. So, uh, after this, I know for sure, because I see how small it is, how small this chunk is in editing. Uh, the match after this is where he basically gets so upset that he basically gives me a game. Now, as in, he sits there, as in, he goes into the messages, types out a message, Oh yeah, here it is, where I, where I become passive, so it wasn't this match, but anyway, uh, the match after this, he becomes so salty, or so obsessed with salt, that he just, he goes into the messages, and once it's done, he basically just gives me a free game. Uh, you'll see what I mean soon enough, in like a few seconds, but I'm gonna show you the messages right now, and then after the, the mess, the match I was telling you about just now, after that, uh, you'll see the rest. Okay, so, like you see here, uh, I, I just kept trying to piss him off, so I put, sure, stop being Three, salty. Two, and, one, once again, this may sound like me being a dick, but I literally only do this to people who are, who are dicks from the start. So, he gets so obsessed with his salt that, as you can see here, he's too busy typing to realize he's, like, he's not attacking, so I'm just, I'm doing that to him, like, just taking the game just to piss him off further at this point. Uh, is it petty? Kinda. Is it necessary though? Yes. Very. Just to get the point across. Uh, hold on. Here are the rest of the messages. So, sorry that I said hold on, but, uh, basically I was saying that because I was talking to myself. Anyway, um, here are the rest of the messages. Uh, as, as you can see, they are very salty. It gets to the point where, once again, uh, it gets to 10-8. And he gets upset calling uh calling me quote a true spammer that i won't get subs for cheating but i don't really care about that uh so yeah that's about it uh i hope you guys enjoyed this it's very funny to make people salty when they do something wrong because they kind of deserve it at that point so with that being said thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you guys again next time